Libra, how in the world are you? Welcome to Higher Source Tarot. This is your January 2020 mid-month check, tarot check for all Libra. Sun, moon, Venus, and rising. So if you have Libra in those placements, you are in the right place. We're just going to do a little tarot check today and see what your mid-month holds. I hope all is well and you've gotten off to a great start in 2020. You don't know that time in these readings can be fluid, so sometimes if I get an inclination, I'll tell you if I think it's going to be months from now. Um, but the trajectory is sometimes hard to predict. So I do hope you set your intentions and are already seeing some progress as you move forward, feeling light, wearing the world like a loose-fitting garment. So here we go for Libra. Um, oh, I'm also too, thank you to everyone who's been subscribing. I really appreciate that and commenting, liking, sharing my videos. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do and hit that bell and you'll be notified when I post new videos, which is about once a week. So when you subscribe, if your settings are on private, I don't even see your name. I just see new subscribers. So if you're ever worried about who can see you, because of course we still care at the ego level, don't we? Um, but yeah, if you're private, then your boss or your neighbor or whoever isn't going to know that you're watching tarot videos or your ex or whoever's looking at you. So, um, anyway, yeah, with the internet, boy, we sure can be easily stalked, can't we? So, all right, Libra, let's see what's going on for you. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus for Libra. All right, and here is our Abraham Hicks card. I like that card. It's very pretty. The most powerful law in the universe. Every thought vibrates, every thought radiates a signal, and every thought attracts a matching signal back. We call that process the law of attraction. The law of attraction says that which is like unto itself is drawn. So I think we kind of know that one, don't we, for middle school science. That like attracts like and that thoughts can be measured. Thoughts are wave energy. So know that's true. It's science. It's neuroscience. So this is your current position and that's the five of swords and what surrounds you is the sun. Your destiny here is the three of wands and then behind you is the knight of swords. And then the more recent past is the two of pentacles. You've got judgment coming up. You've got the two of swords in your position. King of wands or energy surrounding you. Four of, four of swords here is kind of like your underlying hopes, fears, wishes. And then you got the page of wands and the outcome, but I will pull a clarifier. Well, this is interesting. You got the queen of cups and the nine of pentacles. So might be manifesting something soon. So you had a little falling out with somebody and there was an arrogance to it. Um, just a change in the dynamic and you may have been the one that walked away but whoever it was was keeping score may have been a situation where they literally were keeping score and you got sick of it so the energy around you though walking away from that was for your higher good because then the Sun is here to tell you you are on the right path if you've been which I do think with the two of swords later on I think you've been thinking about this and not being sure, and I am here to tell you that you did do the right thing. Um, sometimes we can get caught in these cycles with people, and nothing changes for the better until you change. People around you, are can't you can't depend on them to change and improve a situation. You have to do it yourself sometimes. So um, your destiny in this is, you know, you've been waiting here for your ships to come in, and they're coming, okay? So... You're not going to be waiting for too long here, but you are waiting. There is a little bit of stagnant energy around this with the two of pentacles and the two of swords. So, um, you know, be kind of cognizant of that. Uh, you have, in this reading, you have Leo, you have air, you have you pretty much all the elements. No, Yeah, you do have the Queen of Cups. So, um, behind you, though, I do feel like you had a disagreement for sure because you have this Knight of Swords and he comes racing in with communication but it's quick, it's fast, it's, uh, I think there was some kind of argument here um, that caused a lot of uncertainty and 
maybe even some financial issues because right after that you have the two of pentacles. So there could have been some kind of a disagreement and then it caused a real imba imbalance for a while. Um, you know, I don't think it's going to be years of thinking about this time, but I do think it's it's been some months, a couple months, and just not quite sure, you know, what to do with this. Um, so the Two of Pentacles can be kind of a roller coaster kind of a card where they're just not sure what to do. It's like a very wishy-washy back and forth kind of energy. So it's possible that you were dealing with somebody um, or you were trying to balance a lot of things um, and trying to just make things as smooth as possible after that Knight of Swords. I do like the order of that, though, because this is much harsh, harsher than this. And then you've got the Judgment card. So you are going to be getting some kind of information and communication on this. Um, you know, we're waiting around, wanting to know what the outcome is going to be. You are on the right path, and if it's a relationship, you're going to be sitting down with them sooner than later to try to move forward in a peaceful direction and just in a better direction than it was. So that may be a real turning point. Whatever that Knight of Swords was might have been a, a place where you are turning the corner here now with this two of swords this is like you're trying to keep these swords from touching each other so trying to balance a situation out and kind of regain control of it so i think whatever happened with that knight of swords then you've got some damage control going on but you're still feeling um kind of like there was just this clash of ideas and words and things that just kind of got you off kilter um, and feeling like you just don't quite know what to do with it. Now, there is a little bit of a watery energy in here, and that's more that indecision. So he comes in, this king of wands, and this is like big time action taker. So maybe this person comes forward and just says, look, we have to work this through. We can't continue like this because there's too much contact. There's, you know, maybe it's a situation where you have a kid with somebody or something like that, and it needs to be in a better place than it is now. That will be coming forward. Um, you have been kind of resistant, um, and you're just afraid that there's not going to be a reconciliation. There's fear here. There's, this is about, you know, it's, it's about investing in yourself, but it's also, you're not moving in this card. So you're contemplating, you're resting, and it just slows the energy way down. So with the Two of Swords and this, I do feel like it could be you that's slowing things down. But then the outcome, you've got this affable guy, and whoever this is, is going to be, um, um, you know, I use the word affable, but they're going to be approachable. They are going to want to heal the situation. Um, so this is not somebody to be feared. It may have even been you that was pretty quick with your words, but overall, with these three together, you know, you've got new beginnings starting here, a recovery period following that that Four of Swords, you took the recovery period to start a, a, a brand new beginning to reconcile, to move forward. Um, so if you're wondering, am I going to, you know, am I going to be on speaking terms with this person? I would say the answer is yes, and it will be quicker, um, you know, with the next couple weeks here. Um, you know, with this Queen of Cups, this is somebody who vibrates at the level of love. So you want to think about this person with really warm regard, really kind regard, draw their draw them into your energy, right? We, we don't want to be harsh with our words because that keeps people from us. You want to draw them close to you. Think about all the things that you love about this person or what would happen if the you know if it reconciled and got in a better place. What would life feel like um, to have that? And it would be, you know, you're in your own paradise here with the nine of pentacles. Um, I do think too, as far as money is concerned, you are going to have stability there too, Libra. So I don't think you need to be worried about that. If you've been worried about money, there's, uh, it's needless. The worry is needless. So, all right, Libra. So this is your mid-month tarot check. 
And thank you so much for tuning in. I love you, and I'll be back again in about a week.